Hey everyone, Jake from 8020 Automotive here. Today we're talking about P0243 fault codes, which indicate a wastegate solenoid malfunction. A P0243 fault code means that the engine's computer or ECU cannot properly control the turbocharger's wastegate solenoid. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about what a wastegate and wastegate solenoid are. And then from there, we'll talk about some signs and symptoms that you'll get alongside a P0243. We'll talk about common causes of this fault code. And then we'll go ahead and take you through a brief diagnostic checklist of what you can do to try to determine what the actual issue is on your specific vehicle. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about wastegates and wastegate solenoids. The wastegate is essentially a valve that's located inside the turbocharger. And what it does is allow air to bypass the turbocharger so that we can therefore control boost pressures. So ultimately what happens if your turbocharger is commanded to produce 10 PSI of boost, what happens once you get to 10 PSI is the wastegate is going to go ahead and open and that's going to allow all of the exhaust gas air to bypass the turbocharger so that we don't continue to build boost pressure. So the wastegate solenoid's role is in controlling the actual actuator that opens up the wastegate's valve. So the way that it works is this is an electrical solenoid and the solenoid ultimately controls an actuator arm, which is basically like a metal rod that's then attached to the valve that's inside the turbocharger. And so the wastegate solenoid is then going to ultimately control the wastegate actuator actually opening up and letting air bypass the turbocharger so we don't continue to build boost. There are two different types of systems here to talk about and it's important to understand these because the cause of a P0243 does differ depending on what system you have. On older turbocharger systems, you have what's called pneumatic wastegate control. And that means that the wastegate is actually being controlled controlled by vacuum lines or boost lines. So the wastegate solenoid in this case is actually gonna route air or boost pressure to the actuator and that pressure is what's gonna cause the actuator to open or close. On newer systems, everything is fully electronically controlled. So the wastegate solenoid controls an electronic motor and that electronic motor is what causes the actuator arm to open and close. This is important when it comes to causes of a P0243 fault code, which we're gonna go ahead and talk about here in a second after we talk briefly about signs and symptoms that you'll get alongside this fault code. First off, you're likely gonna have issues with your boost pressure. So you're gonna either be getting an under boost or an over boost issue. And you might see a couple other fault codes coming with it. If you're getting an under boost, you'll get a P0299 fault code, or if you're getting an overboost, you might see a P0234 fault code. Additionally, you might have erratic boost behavior that can cause your engine to go into limp mode. You might get slow or sluggish acceleration if you're not producing enough boost, or you could get some serious engine knocking and pinging noises if you're sending too much boost. And it's also to hear noises coming from the wastegate, something that's commonly called as wastegate rattle. And so if you hear noises coming from the turbocharger when you're building boost, that could be an indicator as well. So now that we've got the symptoms discussed, let's go ahead and talk about the common causes. Regardless of whether you have an older pneumatic or a newer electronic wastegate setup, the most common cause of a P0243 fault code is the actual wastegate solenoid failing. And that's because in both these systems, the wastegate solenoid is an electronic electrical component and so it naturally fails from time to time. The reason it's important to understand whether you have an older system or a newer system is because on the older systems, the second most common cause is gonna be a vacuum leak or a boost leak coming from those lines that send pressure to the wastegate actuator. And this is a good case because that means you probably have just a simple boost line or vacuum line that popped off or that got a hole in it or something like that and is leaking off pressure. The issue on the newer, more modern turbocharger system is they're fully electronic and so any issue you have with the P0243 is probably going to be caused by an electrical issue and ultimately means that the solenoid is going to need to be replaced. There are a few other things that can cause this that aren't related to the solenoid or boost lines and that's going to be tuning. Of course if you are modified and running custom tuning or any sort of plug and play tuner, bad tunes or issues with your tune setup can cause overboost, underboost and a P0243 fault. 
default code. The last thing that I'll mention here is you also could have an issue with the actuator arm that actually opens or closes the wastegate. Now, the issue with an actuator arm is that arm can get sticky or stuck to where it's not opening properly like it should. And so it might be possible to go ahead and try to spray it with a little grease or clean it up to get it to be functioning properly. On some turbochargers, it is serviceable to where you can completely replace the actuator arm. But on most setups, you can't do that because it's fully integrated into the turbocharger. So with that being said, when it comes to diagnosing this issue, if you have an older pneumatic system, the most important thing is to check your boost lines or your vacuum lines and make sure you don't have a leak coming from those. If you have a newer turbocharger system as well, it's worthwhile to check all of the components that carry boost within the engine just to make sure you don't have a massive boost leak. So check out your charge pipe, all of your intercooler piping and things like that to make sure there's not a huge boost leak coming through. If you don't have any issues with boost lines, vacuum lines, or any sort of massive boost leak, then the best thing that you can do is actually test the solenoid itself by using an advanced scan tool that can actually control the boost solenoid. We can run a test on the scan tool where the scan tool tries to actually command the boost solenoid to open or close the actuator. And by doing that, we can tell if it's working or not. What tends to happen if the solenoid fails is the wastegate can get stuck open, which means you're gonna have a massive under boost problem. The turbocharger is not gonna build any boost at all, or the wastegate can get stuck closed and you therefore then are building a ton of boost which is very dangerous for your engine. So by running an advanced test with a scan tool you can go ahead and tell if we're able to actually control that actuator or not via the solenoid. Now the issue with the wastegate solenoid is on most modern vehicles, it is not replaceable without replacing the whole turbocharger. On some of these older pneumatic systems that we're talking about, some of them have an external solenoid where the solenoid is cheap and can easily be replaced. But if it's directly integrated into the turbocharger, you're gonna have to replace the whole thing, which means an expensive turbocharger. And unfortunately, most turbochargers are not very easy to service. And so it's expensive labor to replace them as well. Anyways, I hope this video helped you diagnose and fix your P0243 fault code. If you guys appreciate this video, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for all our future content.